We think that if this council is at a national level and it may not sit very often, if every patient who has to be transplanted or any transplant procedure that, is, that has to happen in the country, the council has to be the one to, to make these kinds of approval. It may cause uh, delays. And maybe in case where you have emergencies, you may not be able to do a transplant. Uh, for example, for the like people in ophthalmology, when someone has a corneal transplant, they raise the concern that you may need to transplant a cornea within 24, 24 hours. So our proposal as UMA was that maybe this national council should come up and appoint an authorization committee at the designated transplant center, let's say at Mulago. And this authorization committee can make some decisions which can be later reviewed by the committee at the national level. The regional list is a little bit weak because organs within the same country should not be again regionalized that because this person has died in Arua, the organs should only be got the patients in Arua. There, there are many criteria why someone should climb up the ladder for, for recipients. For instance, someone who has ever donated a kidney, if their one kidney fails, they are right on top of the list. So if that person is, say, in Barara, and the kidney is got in Bali, they have the priority. The same transplant program should have helicopters. That's why they're talking of transportation of these organs. So that these organs are transported in an appropriate way and quickest to where they are needed. So there are issues of equity in regard to this law. Yes, we had stated the issue of uh, children. It is something we really have to think about.